I'm Mark Blaine at the Marmalade Branch Public Library in Salt Lake City, where you didn't have to read the fine print to learn that it's National Teen Driver Safety Week. It shouldn't be this way. Deshauna Joe of Tremonton and Brian Berry of West Haven are part of a club no parent wants to join. They were both at the library to share their stories to promote the statewide initiative for teens dubbed Zero Fatalities. They both lost teenagers on Utah roads who were involved in vehicle crashes last year. I actually heard the sirens go by my house. Brian's 18-year-old son Ben was killed instantly while riding his motorcycle near his home. He said a car came out of nowhere from the shoulder of the road into an active lane of traffic. When I pulled up, I could see his bike on the sidewalk. I could see him in the middle of the road, uh, and they were all working on him. They, they performed life-saving tactics about 45 minutes, even though he was killed on impact. Deshauna's story is no less tragic. She lost her 16-year-old daughter, Soraya, who was struck and killed while riding her bicycle in the wee hours of the night. A dump truck driver came out of uh, business and didn't see her and ran her over. Two tragic cases that are among 38 involving teens who were killed on Utah roads in 2023. Brian wants drivers to not make sudden moves on the road. Safety officials said parental involvement can make a huge difference in teen driving, reducing speeding by 30 percent and doubling the use of seat belts. Though difficult to share the stories of their children, Deshauna and Brian stepped up to help get through to drivers, teens or otherwise, to be alert and take nothing for granted when on the road. You just have to put that awareness out there for everybody. and That's how I can save another life. If there's even one person that can be saved by hearing his story, that's, that's the goal. Mark Blaine, Fox 13 News, Utah.